Hello guys, welcome to another tutorial from tech for all This is Saifuddin Ghanizada. In this tutorial, I will show you how you can transfer the five FESMO rules from one domain to another domain controller. First, we should know what is FESMO rules. FESMO stands for Flexible Single Master Operations Rule. The five FESMO rules are Schema Master, Domain Naming Master, Infrastructure Master, Rate Pool Manager, and PDC. For the purpose of this tutorial, I have already created two virtual machines. This is the primary domain controller. The IP address is 3, and I have logged in through administrator user. There are a few points that you should know before starting the transfer of FESMO rules. For transferring the FESMO rules, you should be on your target machine, the machine that you want to move the rules to. First, we should check that which server has the five FESMO rules with itself, and then we will check for the replication before we start the transferring of FESMO rules. As I already mentioned that this is my primary domain controller, so this server has all the FESMO rules. To check the FESMO rules ownership, run PowerShell as administrator. Type this command. Net DOM query FESMO. I have written the command in the description. Copy it from there and paste it in CMD or Windows PowerShell. Press enter from your keyboard. It will show the ownership of the FESMO rules. Here you can see that all of the five FESMO rules such as Schema Master, Domain Naming Master, PDC, Rate Pool Manager, and Infrastructure Master, the Tech for All dash primary domain controller has all these five rules. In this tutorial, we will transfer all these five FESMO rules from primary domain controller to the additional domain controller. Now, before we proceed to transferring the FESMO rules, let's check the replication between these two domains. To check the replication between the domain controllers, we need to type this command. Press enter from your keyboard. Here you can see the replication is successful and there is no error occurred. If there is an error, it's good for you to first troubleshoot the error and then check the replication again and then you can transfer the FESMO rules. Now, let's check the replication summary. Type repadmain space slash repl summary. Here you can see that I have only one error, which says that the operation is unable because of a DNS lookup failure, which means that the DNS in the additional domain controller has an issue. Let me troubleshoot that and I will run the replication summary again. I have troubleshooted the replication. Let me clear all the commands and I will run the show replication and replication summary commands again. Here you can see that all the replication was successful and there is no error. And in the replication summary, you can see all of the commands are successful. We don't have any error in the replication summary too. Now we are good to go, and now we can transfer the FISMO rules to the additional domain controller. As I mentioned earlier, if you want to transfer the FISMO rules, you should be on the target machine, on the machine that you want to transfer the FISMO rules to. So I am in the primary domain controller which has the FISMO rules with itself. Let's switch to the additional domain controller. Now, let's check the FISMO rules in here. Open Windows PowerShell and type the netdom query FISMO command. As you can see that all the five FISMO rules are with the primary domain controller. Let's close this. And now let's start transferring the FESMO rule. First, I will transfer the rate pool manager, the infrastructure master, and the PDC. Open the server manager first. 
Click on the Tools menu and select Active Directory Users and Computers. Right click on the domain and select Operation Masters from the right click menu. Here you can see that the current Operation Master is Primary Domain Controller. Click on the Change button to transfer the Operation Master's rule from Primary Domain Controller to Additional Domain Controller. Click on the Change button. Here it warns you that are you sure you want to transfer the Operation Master rule? Click Yes. The Operation Master rule was successfully transferred. Let's do the same for PTC. Click Change button. Click on Yes button. The PDC was successfully transferred. Click OK. Let's transfer the infrastructure master. Click on Change button. Select Yes and press OK. Close the operations master page. Now we will run the NetDOM query to see whether the FISMO rules are transferred to the additional domain controller or not. Here you can see that now PDC is with the additional domain controller, Red Pool Manager is also with the additional domain controller, and Infrastructure Master is also with the additional domain controller. Only the schema master and then domain naming master is with the PDC. Let's transfer the domain naming master from PDC to ADC. Open Server Manager, click on Tools, and then select Active Directory Domain and Trusts. Select the Active Directory Domain and Trust, right click on it and select Operations Master from the right-click menu. Here you can see that the domain naming Operations Master is with the primary domain controller. To transfer it to the additional domain controller, click on the Change button. Again, it will warn you that do you want to transfer the master rule? Select Yes, press OK, and close the Operations Master. Now close the Active Directory Domain and Trust. Open Windows PowerShell and type the NetDOM Query FISMO command. As you can see that only the Schema Master rule is with the PDC or Primary Domain Controller. The remaining four rules are switched or transferred from the Primary Domain Controller to Additional Domain Controller. Let's transfer the Schema Master rule. For transferring the Schema Master rule, first you have to register the Schema Master Management DLL so that you can get into the Microsoft Management Console. To register the Schema Master Management, open Windows PowerShell. Now you need to type reg svr32 space schm mgmt.dll, which means that Register the schema management.dll file. Press enter from your keyboard. There is a spelling error in the schema management.dll. Press OK. Let's retype it. I have missed the C before H. Now press enter. The DLL register server in schema management.dll was succeeded. Press OK. Now open the MMC or Microsoft Management Console. You can open it from the Windows PowerShell. All you need to do is type mmc.exe and press enter. After the Microsoft Management Console is opened, click on File menu and select Add or Remove a Spin. From here, you need to choose the Active Directory schema and press the Add button. Press OK button. Now expand the Active Directory Schema. Right click on the Active Directory Schema and select Change Active Directory Domain Controller. 
Now from here, you need to select the additional domain controller and press OK. Press OK again. Now right click on the Active Directory Schema and select Operations Master. To transfer the Schema Master from primary domain controller to additional domain controller, press Change and press Yes. The Active Directory Schema has been successfully transferred. Press OK. Close the Schema Master and close the MMC. Here it says that do you want to save it? Click Yes. I don't want to save it. Let's close this. Now let's run the NetDOM query Facebook command again. As you can see, guys, that we have successfully transferred all the five FESMO roles from the primary domain controller to additional domain controller. Now, let's recheck the replication in the additional domain controller. Let me clear this page. To check the replication, you need to type repadmin space slash show repl. As you can see, that there is no error in the replication. Now, Let's check the replication summary. And there is also no fail or no error in the replication summary too, which means that the FESMO roles have successfully transferred from the primary domain controller to additional domain controller. As I am doing it in a virtual machine, the replication does not take time and my active directory does not have any user or groups, that's why the replication was too fast. If you are working in a bigger environment, you need to give some time to the additional domain controller and the primary domain controller so that they should sync with each other. And that's all for today, guys. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to Tech for All channel. I will catch you very soon with another tutorial. Till then, have a nice time.